Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create first official Flutter web project. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create the Flutter project, how we are going to set up the assets, how we are going to lay down our folder structure, and also we are going to look for PubSpec YAML for the Flutter web approach. And also we are going to configure our pubspec.yml file to add packages and dependencies. We are creating Flutter e-commerce admin panel and as you already know if you watched the previous tutorial, we launched this e-commerce app course. You will get the link down below in the description. And as you can see we are working on the section 1 which is the second video to create a new Flutter project. So let's get started. To create a new project, open your ID. I am inside Android Studio and I'm going to go for the file new and go for new Flutter project. If you're new in the Flutter and you don't know how to install the Flutter, I have already dropped a complete setup guide for the Flutter and also for the Flutter SDK. So make sure to watch that video. Link is in the description. So create a new project. We have to make sure that we are selecting the right SDK path and then the Flutter is selected. Click on next. You have to name your project and make sure it's not in the capital case and also you cannot add any spaces you can give whatever name you want select the project location you can give your organization name over here which is com.example this should be unique for each app development so i will left it as it is because we are not going to go for the android ios linux and mac os but we're going to develop our project or admin panel for the web only so you can mark only this web as selected and uncheck all of these I'm going to leave Android and iOS for now because might be later on you want to use the same web project and want to create apps as well. So I'm going to leave it checked and also you have to make sure that the module name should be in small and same as the project name. So click on create. Okay, so our project is created. Let's switch it from Android to project. And this is the project that we just created, which is YouTube e-commerce admin panel. Okay, now inside this admin panel, the first thing we want to do is we want to create the assets folder in which we are going to paste all the images, videos, audios, files, whatever we want to add inside this project will go inside that assets folder. So to create a new folder, click on the root directory, create on new, and we are going to create a directory. I'm going to name it assets, and inside you can create more folders. I have just added four new folders, which is fonts, icons, images, and logos. Inside the fonts, we have another folder because this is the font that we are going to use. And after that, we have the icons over here. Then we have some images, animations, content, and also the logos. Now we added all the fonts inside the assets, all the images, all the logos. Now, in order to use this, we are going to head towards the pubspec.yml file. And this is our default pubspec.yml file with some default lots of comments. To remove this, press Ctrl or to replace. To remove this, you have to write hash sign dot static. And all the comments you can see are selected now. And do not add anything in the replace. Just replace it. Everything is now removed. Now, to sort all the lines, let me quickly sort them. Okay, I've just remove all the spaces and added some comments you can see at the top we have a name of this application which is same as we added while creating our project then we have a description publish to then we have a version environment this is your sdk environment then this is the dependencies in which we are going to add all type of dependencies we are going to add utility packages web specific state management firebase and icon packages right over here and then in the dev dependencies, we are going to add all the dependencies that are related to dev development or it is development dependencies. Then in the Flutter, we are going to add two things over here. The local assets, the assets that we defined over here will be declared that I'm going to do now. While creating the assets, we have to write the name assets colon and you have to make sure this indentation should be two spaces. So let me see. It. This is from the left border one two spaces then the assets and then one and two spaces then a hyphen sign then one space and then we are writing the same assets name we have over here then inside we are going to target the logos because all the files are inside this one and make sure to add the forward slash at the end otherwise you will not be able to point out whatever is inside this folder so same way i've added all the folders that i want to use make sure to point exactly to folders like if you go to the images inside the images you can see we have two folders the animation folder and then content folder and in the animations we have a lot of animations and then in the content we have some images so 
but this way you are going to declare your assets and once the assets are declared now inside the fonts we're going to declare the fonts over here and again you can see it has two spaces add a hyphen sign space we are going to add a family of the font name the family of the font and then we are going to add the fonts in the next line add hyphen space asset and you have to copy all the assets the weight is 300 then we have a 400 this one is italic then it has a 500 font with the 500 italic 600 and 800 all the fonts are declared over here to copy this same exact path you have to click on this go to copy path reference and inside you can copy the absolute path where it is located file name or the path from content to so this is what we need just click on copy and you can paste it right over here so by this way we declared our phones assets we are going to declare all the packages and dependency that we are going to use as we move along our tutorials so we are done with the assets we're done with the pubspec.yml file and also i want to walk you through the web folder which is over here inside this web folder we have four main things the first one is the icons that are being used inside this web these are basically the flutter icons you can replace these icons but we will talk about them later then we have the fev icon which is the browser left top icon which is again the same flutter icon you can change it as well so this is the main file which is the index.html file or the starting point of our application you can see it is a plain html javascript and currently there is no css but later on we will add some because when you will see while creating or running the flutter application flutter web application for the first time it is going to have some white space because at that time it is loading this javascript and to avoid that plain white dummy screen we will add a loader inside this index.html file and after that we have some configurations in this manifest.json all the configurations related to web okay next we are going to create for the same folder structure approach that we use for our flutter e-commerce application i'll drop the video link in the description in that tutorial we'll learn two type of folder structures feature first and layer first folder structure so we are going to go for the feature first which is similar to the one in the e-commerce and it is easily expandable and manageable for the large applications inside this folder i have created a bunch of folders the same folder that or the same approach again that we are using inside our e-commerce app we have the bindings at the top then we have commons the styles and widgets all the common widgets of this whole application will go inside this widgets folder then we have our data with some abstract function then we have repositories services dot cloud storage so in which we are going to add the cloud storage you can also call this as repository then we have our features in which we are going to add all the features like authentication shop personalization media etc and after that we have a localization in this you can add different type of languages so that code will go inside this localization then we have the routes then the utils the same utils we have created inside our e-commerce app and each and every detail is already been discussed definitely few things are changed and few new things are added so make sure to download this code so inside the main dart we are going to remove all this dummy data and inside this main function we are going to add some comments so this is how our main dart will look like first of all we are going to make sure that widgets should wait until everything is initialized we are going to initialize the local storage remove the hash sign what are these things authentication repository and we are going to run an app inside this app everything will be done in the upcoming tutorials you don't have to be worried about that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new and if you learned something new please like the video and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for all the latest videos thank you for watching and take care